Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This time I'll be showing you how to replace a hard drive in a Panasonic CF29 model Toughbook. One of the reasons I'm doing this video is because I couldn't find any instructions on how to do it online. Panasonic charges a bunch. They charge like $300 to replace a, a hard drive in one of their Toughbooks. As you all know, you can get a, a laptop sized hard drive a two and a half inch hard drive for forty to fifty dollars. Alright, step one, just open up the lid. The hard drive is located on the right side of the tough book. So you're just, there's actually a switch here, you just flip it up and this uh, folds down the latch and just comes out like so. Here's the hard drive and as you can see it's encased but uh, the screws there's a set of four screws that you need to uh, to remove so three on this side and then one over here so all the screws are out so this lifts up fairly easily you may have to press in the little um, attachment there. Comes out like so. There's uh, adhesive on both the, the left and the right side. So it, it comes up uh, fairly easily. like that and then the hard drive slides right out uh, there's a little piece of tape and you just uh, undo that and there you go, there, here's the, the hard drive part of it and here's the new one. And this is actually a ATA-6 uh, 2.5 inch laptop hard drive that I'm using. There's uh, four pins right here. Those aren't used. Just use these pins on this side. snaps down there and just put it on like basically like you took it off like that and this will slide back in there we go and you press these two ends down to redo the adhesive that way like that this end goes on top and another thing to check this little piece here you want to make sure that it's you can see that it's underneath the little groove on both ends so this is this is what all four sides look like and then just put the screws back in All right, once you have all four screws back in, you just simply push it back in your laptop and you should hear it securely click or fasten or whatever. And you just flip the lid up and pull the switch down to lock it in place and you're all set.